Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today we are right here in Portugal, Porto with a brand new Honda CRV and I have with me the full hybrid. As you probably know, three weeks ago I also test the plug-in hybrid version. It's right there, the white one. And today I have the full hybrid right here and we will test drive the car. We have this event, amazing event, that Honda Switzerland invite us. I will leave the Instagram right on the screen and you can check them out also on TikTok. They are cool people and they post a lot of Honda content. If you want to see them, check them out. I want to drive the car in Portugal. We have a long trip to go and I want to split it in a few videos where I can explain you about the consumption. I explain you about the driving feeling on the highway, in the city, in all kinds of conditions. So stay with me because it will be a really interesting interesting video as you probably know yesterday night they Honda explained us all the technical changes to the car and I tried to tell you as well in the video I have to say I'm impressed with what changes they did to the car but I will make a full review about that we have 18 inch rims ventilated brake this on the front nice nice color I really love the color and the blue dark color in combination with the rims look pretty nice also on the rear we have brake this but more about that in the review video let's drive the car this is the key by the way super nice nice light key great great electric seats you can see they have also two position to uh, adjust them and you can see already when you open the door it's just adjusting for you to give you that space that you need to go inside you can also set it how you want it now once you go inside you will notice that the sound insulation from my point of view on this crv after i test all the honda cars i think is it has the best sound insulation and you will see also when we start driving press the brake this is the power button it comes with a fully digital cockpit head-up display is great you can see right there directly on the windscreen and i saw that it has great brightness even if it's sunny outside now we will go to the android because we have a trip pre-selected so you can see right here the trip pre-selected and all I have to do is just start the route yes perfect and now it's just start the trip I have it also on this phone that Honda give me and I will show you right now yeah no I just leave it like that I don't want to close it but it's right here wireless charging for your phone and also you have another place for the phone you have a place for two phones that's fabulous I mean a lot of place right there it's one of the most spacious part let me put the seat back also the seats crazy comfortable full leather seats we have ventilated seats and heated seats this is crazy nice and crazy useful the climatic system the same one that they use on civic and also on the brand new zrv that i already reviewed check it out on the channel both sound system a lot of great quality even the steering wheel feel gorgeous and also it has heated from here we have some pedals we have d mode and b mode when you put it in b mode from those pedals you can choose how much regenerative brake uh, you want to have when you release the acceleration it's kind of a brake right and then the drive mode the d mode is just the normal mode in the left side it shows you how much battery you still have and on the right side how much gas i will reset here the trip a to see the consumption and as always as you probably know from my videos i will drive on level two for the moment it's super cold outside with climatic system on and we will see the consumption in the end let me put it in drive and let's drive from here from the right side you can change different driving mode we have snow mode this is a new one econ echo normal and sport mode we drive in echo mode and then we try all those driving modes now the visibility is fabulous it comes also with auto hold function that i will activate it from here you have to activate it all the time when you start the car keep this in mind so the auto hold is not active when you start driving it's a beautiful morning in portugal and we drive from the hotel to a beautiful route that i hope i can show you this sun it's crazy now it's gone great I hope it's not so much traffic because today it's Saturday. You can see the car come with 360 degrees camera and I like that very much. So the camera resolution, it's crazy, crazy good. And I will try to show you also in the full review video and you can see while you're driving, it's still on, uh, on the screen and it's really, really interesting. Now let me go back to my Apple CarPlay and we have to go on the roundabout. Also, the car come with 
a petrol engine, two liter, four cylinders in line, Atkinson engine. And from what I heard yesterday from the guys, from the technician from Honda, they improve a lot the the technology there on the engine. It was really a complicated technical explanation, but uh, from what I understand, they really put a lot of work in those um, engines. And not only that, they put a lot of work in the engine, but I heard that they also improve the electric motors because the car come with uh, two motors and also those two motors they change the position of them now they are parallel they are no more in line and this allow the car to have a better low um, torque low traction that allow the car to pull up to 1000 kilograms and the plug-in hybrid up to 1500 kilograms so uh, it's impressive the technology of the car and from what I heard <laughs> I have to tell you something from inside what I heard I'm not sure if it's great but I still want to tell you the thing is that the car are the cars are so good I mean the hybrid system it's so good I told you always in my videos is that the people never come with a car in service and you know they, they don't have people in service that mean uh, they can make money from service but the great part is that you have a phenomenal car if you buy a Honda because you don't need to go in a service with it as as often as you go with other cars so I knew that for for so a uh, long time and yeah that was confirmed yesterday when I saw that presentation um, I knew that uh, they make phenomenal phenomenal cars now another information uh, for you is that it comes with a battery of course because it's a full hybrid the battery is located under the rear seat and it's a 1.06 kilowatt hour battery that helped this uh, system now we are driving in D mode but if we change from here you just press this one you go in in B mode right now and from here now you can choose how much recuperation to have when you release the the acceleration pedal so it's kind of a one pedal drive but we will test this out because I want to see how strong it is for example if you leave it on one it's just almost rolling and if you put it at maximum uh, you already feel how the car when you release the acceleration how the car it's regenerate a little bit of energy uh, back into the battery it's not as strong as on electric cars it's not as strong as ENY1 but it's 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 fine I mean it's perfect for a full hybrid and I will drive like that I will drive in B mode with regenerative brake on maximum because I, I like that electric feeling to be honest I'm starting to get used with it I think I still have to hold on on the on the straight way the car it feels very comfortable the sound insulation from outside I told you I think is the best sound insulation in a Honda car uh, forever look at this bridge this is in in almost center of Porto in Portugal it's it's beautiful really beautiful it's really nice place here so it's, it's a beautiful place to to film we st we still are in eco mode by the way blind spot technology in the corners uh, talking a little bit about the technology I have to tell you that I was impressed with how many uh, technology the car come with and also uh, the new autopilot system and cruise control lane assist all that features work really good and we will test this out a little bit later when we will go outside Porto we will try to go outside the city and we will test those out as well so it will be really interesting let me go on the left side here Take exit five, then keep left in the 
have to take the exit 5 right here right okay it was a little bit later because it showed me like two routes and I think it was on the left side but I think the left side is when we get back uh, from the route and now I have to keep it left just like that the sun is directly in my eyes that's not so fun 40 kilometers here I have to slow down a little bit I love the fact that the car not only that read the traffic speed limit you can see on the head of display I don't know if you can see there but it read also the traffic signs and where is not allowed to pass by other cars and stuff like that this is really impressive so another another small thing to add on to the to the greatness of the car oh my god the sun it's it goes on the right side it's just moving from left to right so it's quite hard to I will leave it like that both of them also the range of the car can go up to 900 80 kilometers from what I heard yesterday so if you're driving in eco mode with a full uh, full tank and if you drive in the speed limit if you uh, probably drive without the climatic system or, the, or without the uh, heating on you can get up to 980 kilometer range so something that it's super super good Now in terms of improvements from the previous version, this is the most spacious CRV ever, it's the sixth generation and it has much more space in the back in the rear seats, I will show you also in the review video, it has much more space in the uh, trunk and I think I have to go straight here, yes, and they improve also the visibility, that was a main topic yesterday, one of the, the topic was like the peripheral view something that i told you also in zrv and i think there they improve as well peripheral view it's perfect because the way they place the multimedia here in the middle and the way they design the mirrors they install it on the body of the car and the a pillar it's relatively small that allow you to have uh, an incredible view uh, on the window so the visibility outside it's gorgeous I mean you have perfect visibility the mirrors are big are huge uh, the windows are big and the windshield it's super super big and also they move the a pillar a little bit backward a little bit sideward because the car is a little bit more wider just a little bit and also a little bit more longer than before and I have to tell you um, when I drive the car and when I saw those things I have to tell you that I'm I definitely can confirm that this is definitely true they improve also the posture on the seats the seats are improved and I'm not I'm telling you from what I heard yesterday and also from what I read uh, about the car and I'm I'm sure I'm really pleasant surprised to see that now you have much more better uh, visibility comfort and space and also the car is much more beautiful I mean if we compare it with the previous version I have to say that this version look much much nicer now I want to show you also the cruise control and autopilot you can control it from here from the steering wheel from the right side and we are almost outside the yeah we have to go in D mode by the way in order to to work with it you have to go back to D mode in B mode is not working and then you just have to set it you go up you set from here the lane assist and you can set the speed very simple I like the fact that they still keep physical button in comparison with uh, some other cars manufacturers that they use uh, touch sensitive buttons I think the physical buttons is the way to go because they are much more easier to use right and I just wanna set it so you can Yeah, let me baby let me go back here because it's straight away and just set it up right here 97 and then look at this the car can read the traffic speed limit can keep between the lanes can keep the distance between you and the car in front here I have to make space for other car and I have to continue on the, on the uh, second lane I know I have to stay on the second lane 
but still let me go back on the right side and let me show you here behind this car you set it here to 96 right and the car right now it sees the car in front and it will just hold between the lanes hold the distance and hold the the speed and when the car in front accelerate your car will accelerate will brake and what I notice is that this system it's very good I tested three weeks ago I tested on ZRV as well uh, and I saw that it's it's really really good look at this it stays perfectly between the lanes it doesn't have any bouncing or stuff like that it's warn you from time to time to have your hand on the steering wheel but in general it's it's great now I think I have to go on the right side now here there's nobody there yeah it's great a lot ah, this sun it's super annoying today and a lot of foggy ah, I think I miss I think I missed the road yeah but it's no problem we can go you can see even here it's trying to keep between the lanes because the lane assist it's activated it, it still tried to to keep between the lanes so now we will turn around there on the roundabout and then we will go back on the route so you have to deactivate it from here in order to deactivate it it's very simple all you have to do is just go here on the steering wheel Now we go in the roundabout and turn around. By the way, the car come with independent McPherson suspension on the front and we have multi-link independent on the rear. Also, in terms of suspension and stiffness of the suspension and on the parts that are around the suspensions, they improve that area as well and they improve also the stiffness of the body and they add some extra adhesive uh, like uh, complicated to explain you guys but they improve also a lot of stuff on the body of the car on the chassis of the car so this is crazy important also i will try to to bring you more information in the in the full review video there i can focus more on those stuff but here i want to concentrate on uh, driving feeling it's super foggy today and it's so shame because uh, those roads are incredible and um, this country it's it's phenomenal but I will try to do another test drive a little bit later or I will split it in a few parts where we can also saw see again another thing that I said in my previous video was that look at this how much foggy it is i said in my previous video that the sound insulation it's much better it's much more improved the sound insulation between the engine and the cabin it's much more improved so it's much better you can barely hear the engine when it's running uh, and most of the time I have to tell you that most of the time the car will drive in electric mode you don't even feel like you're um, you don't even feel like you're driving a petrol car or something like that and the car know when to couple and when to change those uh, between uh, petrol engine and uh, electric motors and over 80 km per hour when you push the acceleration to the floor when you need more power and traction then the car will automatically uh, engage the petrol engine to to help but until then as cruising at cruising and at starting and in driving slow in the city you will drive all the time if you have enough battery uh, in electric mode so this is really impressive uh, another thing that it's impressive it is the um, all-wheel drive i system it's an intelligent system all-wheel drive the car will permanently drive the front wheel of the car the electric motors and also the petrol engine with the possibility as needed when needed to drive the rear wheels right to send the power the torque to the rear wheels that help you in the bad condition like snowy or like i don't know when the car need 
those traction the car will feel automatically and it will do that automatically so you don't have to do nothing it will choose for you and if before was like 60 40 the power ratio now it's 50 50 that means it can send 50 to the rear wheels so it has even better traction you look at this is the plug-in hybrid so now we can activate again the lane assist and we can set up again here and we have also uh, the HRV there the second one I think the guys are also from the press 80 km per hour we still uh, I, I'm super impressed like at this kind of speed you barely hear some noise from outside and today it's cold outside probably a little bit not sure if it's windy but the sound insulation it's it's fine it's it's super fine we can go a little bit higher now here it's 120 km per hour the ECVT transmission it's crazy smooth you're feeling like you're driving an, an electric car. This is the feeling when you drive this uh, full hybrid system. It's like totally like you're driving an uh, electric car. Yeah, we have to slow down a little bit. And it's pleasant. It's super comfortable. It feels really, really nice and comfortable. go back to 100 I think this this might be a fabulous car to take into consideration if you have a family you need space you need economy you need beauty it's a beautiful car much more beautiful than the previous version look at this it's driving itself and it stays between the lanes. It warns you from time to time to put your hand on the steering wheel, but in general, the car, it's staying perfectly. I can say it's almost like, it's like Tesla, you know? So we go out here. Now guys, look at this. Even now, if you set it here, it will stay between the lanes. Here it's kind of complicated when it doesn't see the lanes. This is this is a rule for all cars in general, no matter which model. It will have some hard time when it doesn't see the lanes, but when it sees the lanes, the car is doing just crazy good. Now we can go a little bit faster, 120, so we can test also at 120 the sound. I think it's great. You hear a little bit of noise from outside, a little bit of wind noise, but it's normal at 120. It's not perfect, but it's much, much better, and I have to say that yeah, probably the, the best sound insulation in uh, in a Honda that I heard, so it's it's good. Now I want to change the driving mode. Let's go in sport mode. Sport mode should be much more responsive. So when you accelerate from 100, now you hear now you hear the petrol engine it's revving on i told you when the car need the power um, then 
the petrol engine will kick in and will work at higher RPMs but uh, in general the brakes are good stays pretty good also on the curves now another thing that they add on in sport mode is the fact that the car now the car now has in the speakers a sporty sound you know they play a sporty sound so when you accelerate in sport mode the car will be incredible incredible aggressive I should say it, it sounds really nice really deep the brakes are good and I can feel already when you brake the regenerative brake it's kicking and then the physical brakes but the transition between those two uh, it's it's pretty good so now we go outside here you hear this sound this is this is coming from the speakers because the car it should be really silent now I want to deactivate the lane assist and we go here in the cities on the small streets in Portugal uh, will be really interesting really beautiful places here I think I can take out this so you can see also a little bit ahead better now going downhill yeah we can go in B mode right now and put regenerative on maximum from the left side and right now when we go downhill the car will recuperate the energy and it has a super smart system that the car from the navigation system will will know that now it's a downhill now it's an uphill and it will preserve the energy into the battery or it will use the battery uh, more in order to let you regenerate later so this is a super smart uh, thing that uh, the car will do depending on how you set the navigation system so very very intelligent I, I I should say it's a very intelligent system and they improve so many things yesterday I heard that they improve a lot of stuff that I can't explain you everything here but I will try to bring you as many as I can also regarding the, the plug-in hybrid I heard that And also in sport mode when you press the acceleration um, you feel like you have that power that you need it's pretty agile so 204 horsepower is more than enough also in the curve by the way they improve also the stability I also read about that yesterday so uh, it stays quite quite good on the curves I like it even though the steering and the stiffness of the suspension are not super stiffer but I like the the steering the steering feeling it's it's good it's precise you see it has all these active active safety features um, that prevent you from um, making an accident you hear the sound I like the sound it makes you feel powerful Wow it stays good also on those curves lovely and here we have a twisted road oh I love those twists I love to drive on twisty road oh I never believe I can have fun with CRV I was thinking like it's a family car but man you can have some fun with it now we have to drive 50 here I want to drive in the speed limit man respect the speed limit it's really important because they know why they put it there you know like they ride 50 just keep there because uh, if you drive faster uh, might be some something that you don't know if you are at least if you don't know the roads always pay attention and keep it in the speed limit beautiful beautiful country beautiful roads I didn't expect to be that good but the roads are quite quite good now big curve 
Now this is what I saw yesterday, they improved this this steering and I already feel that. Nice job. The suspension are set up perfectly between comfort and sportiness. The sun is up again, brakes are great, they are smooth, the pedal is smooth. I love the fact that you don't feel the transition between regenerative brake and, and physical brakes. The transition is great. Anyway guys, I'm almost done with the first part of the test drive, so I will stop the car and then we will do the second part as well. I will drive with you just a little bit more and then I will stop probably in the next five minutes. Um, it's a crazy, interesting, beautiful place to, to drive the car. And we will go also up to some mountains a little bit later. But, and I wanna start the, the next part right there. But yeah, in general, I, I love the car. And I didn't expect to, to be able to have some fun on those twisty roads. I think I will stop here. Just for a bit like that. And then we will end up this first part. Now just put it in park. This is the controller, the shift by wire transmission is right here. So you can put it in drive, parking, reverse, changing different driving modes from here. Super, super simple. Just stop the car. That was all. I guess this is the first part. If I go back here to the trip and we go to the trip A, let me go back to home. And let me go back to trip A to show you the consumption. And the consumption was like, as you can see here, guys, just 6.1 uh, liters was the consumption on our trip until here. You saw a little bit on the highway, a little bit uh, in the city and also here. I think it's, it's more than okay. For the way we drive, it's more than fine. So guys, that was the, the first trip. Stay close because we'll come also more interesting trips. I'm planning to go a little bit farther away on the mountains and then start again another another part second part of the test drive so i can give you a little bit more details and also we will test again uh, the consumption and we will drive a little bit more in sport mode so we will do some twisty road so super nice car i'm super impressed to say that uh, it's a great family car great comfort great visibility and i have to be honest also the autopilot system really impressed me three weeks ago when i drive for the first time the car and today really confirmed me that it's super good it's close to what tesla have as well but anyway that was the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you get some useful information from here thank you for watching guys as always don't forget to like share subscribe and if you want to see more content with honda crv and also zrv check out on the channel because next days will come a lot of content interesting content from where you can get some useful information about those cars thanks very much to the honda switzerland for allowing me to come here in portugal to film this car so thank you very much i will leave the instagram on the screen so you can check them out as well so stay safe guys don't forget to like share subscribe see you in the next one bye